What is up guys? It is later! I hope you're all amazing! And if you are not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh. I got my voice back! Yes, I'm happy that I got my voice back. So no more croaky voice from now on! Ah, oh, this video has been a long-awaited one for me actually to get around recording. Finally, if you can hear it guys, can you hear the sirens? The sirens! Eww. We all know what time that is. It is time for my August and September anime haul! Not August and September was sort of quite poor months for me it was so but I managed to get some interesting anime and not that much manga because I'm pretty bad at collecting manga I would say I've been collecting a lot more manga probably since the start of this year actually my interest in it wasn't that much um, a few years back but I don't know somehow this year I've been really interested in collecting a lot of manga but I did get a lot of anime this month so without further ado we're just gonna get right into this haul! The very first series I picked up in the beginning of August was a complete kind of um, random buy and um, I had been craving to watch this series I think since I actually reviewed this series not too long ago and it is a quite an old series it is and it's romance you know how much I all of my romance it is his and her circumstances I'll just show you guys the cover you can see it oh my god I coordination oh, oh, oh coordination doing this yes it is his and her circumstances his and her circumstances about a girl named Yukino Miyazawa she is a very much an idol in her high school you know she's very top of the class good at, good at sports everything but beneath all that she is the biggest ass faker ever she puts on a facade in front of everyone because underneath all this exterior she is very vain she's very can be kind of lazy and selfish super selfish and she thinks no one will ever find out about her little secret. There is one person in the entire school that pretty much Yukino loathes and hates because he is stealing her spotlight. It is Arima, who again is top notch in everything and his good grades, his looks, and good at sports and pretty much good at everything. And you know, she fakely befriends him and is nice to him, where secretly she actually loathes him. And one day when she lets her guard down one lazy Sunday, he ends up going over to house to lend her a CD, I think it was. And she opens the door not knowing that Arima Anne is actually at the door. So her secret is exposed and a beautiful, beautiful friendship and then later on romance is born between these two. This is a really sweet romance anime, this is. I really love Yukino and Arima and how they pretty much discover, you know, pretty much themselves in this anime and how that you don't have to put on a front and hide yourself. And they both discover that themselves and of course, of course they get together, they do. And it's just really sweet to watch. But probably the only two bad things about this anime, number one, there is so many recap episodes and there's just a bunch of random clips put together and people in the background are talking commentary. That's all you get and it's really boring so I skip those episodes half the time. And also there is, towards the ending, there's a certain part involving Yukino's sisters where it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I didn't really like the way this anime ended, I, I felt it could have ended a lot better. And because this anime is quite old, it is was made I believe in 1998, the animation is very very different it is in certain parts. Where I believe the, the studio that made this anime ran out of money and they had to resort to using paper dolls. So you're going to see a bit of that, you're going to see a bit of comic strip kind of animation, some paper doll kind of animation, then you're going to see like normal animation. If you can put up with all that then I'm pretty much sure you will love this anime. Next anime I got has been a long awaited one that um, pretty much people have been kicking me in the ass for because I've not seen it yet. And you know, we all love those titans, don't we? Yes, you guessed it, it is Attack on Titan. But I've only got the first collection, I haven't watched it. No. Yeah. Lita still hasn't seen Attack on Titan and this is where I mean 
I really don't get into the big hypes of anime such as this one was back in 2013. Now it's 2015 and I'm going to watch it now. I don't believe I really need to say much about Attack on Titan. Pretty much it is about these giant things called titans, man-eating ones, and they eat people. And there's a group of, you know, I guess we'll call them soldiers or whatever, and they pretty much go kill these things, you know, to save humanity in the world. So this anime is not one of the most happiest animes, and I hear it's very depressing and I need a tissue box. So I'm quite excited to watch this. The next two animes I got was actually a gift from my YouTuber friend Anime Palooza, where last month we did a YouTuber collaboration together, kind of unboxing. I will put the link down to the video down in the description for you guys to go check out if you want to. So these two animes I was really not expecting. I have watched both of them. So the first one Gigi from Anime Palooza got me is an anime I had been I guess kind of wanted to check out for a while being a romance junkie this may not be to everyone's tastes it is peach girl yes peach girl I had heard really good things about the manga and um, I really do want to start reading the manga but I kind of wanted to check out the anime as you know you have to peach girl is about a girl named Momo and she's pretty much in love with these guys useless guys might I say Toji and Kari. Kari is kind of a playboy and Toji is your goody two-shoes, shy kind of guy. And there is the middle girl in this, which is Sai, who pretty much wants to make Momo's life a living hell. And hey, she reached it onto my top five most annoying characters of all time. Way to go, Sai! It is as this cover says. It is a super pop love hurricane. Yeah, this anime is full a lot. <clears throat> I can't talk. This anime is full of a lot of drama and, might I say, ridiculous drama. The animation is not the best that I've seen. The most thing that annoys me about this anime is the animation to their lips. They just all look so screwy, especially Kari. Look at Kari's lips. Oh my god, why would you want to kiss those? I mean, I watched it for the thrill of the drama and the love, because, you know, as romances need that kind of junk. So, I mean, like, if you like your drama and you love spats, um, I guess I could recommend checking out Peach Girl, but yeah, the animation might bug you. And the second anime anime Palooza sent to me was totally random, and I actually recently finished watching it last week, and might I say it gave me the freaking creeps. And it was just what I needed to get my Halloween spirit in gear. It is the anime Shiki and Anime Palooza. It's so naughty. She sent me the Blu-ray combo DVD pack for it. And I didn't realise it was the DVD combo pack until I actually read the cover of it last week. How dumb is later? Shiki is about a barren isolated village known as Sotoba and in the summer of 1990 a bunch of mysterious deaths kept happening within the village and it's puzzling to Dr. Ozaki as to what is causing the deaths. Some people are saying that it could have been an epidemic but people who end up dying have these bite marks on their arms or their neck or wherever. Vampires? Now, before anybody jumps to any conclusions Shiki is not your average Twilight vampire trash. In fact, in no way it is your Twilight vampire trash, as some people refer to that. Probably refers to anime like your Diabolic Lovers. Which I'm sorry to admit, Diabolic Lovers I have seen. And it was a guilty pleasure and I did enjoy it. This show had been recommended to me loads and loads of times, especially from... Um, a fellow YouTuber named Lilac Anime Reviews. She really loves this series, and I, so do I now. Definitely, this anime is worth marathoning during Halloween. Oh my god, seriously. This anime is pretty much a roller coaster of death. Yep, roller coaster of death. What I loved about Shiki was not because it was super ass creepy and, you know, had me at every turn. It was because it brought back the classic vampire that we all know and love from history and fiction and that is what you're going to get from this anime. Yeah, Shiki had me on my toes the whole way through. I do have to say that the plot I felt was a bit overstretched 
and can be slow at certain points but if you can put up with that then I so so definitely think you have to check out the anime Shiki for certain and just definitely watch it during Halloween. I'm so re-watching this on the Halloween weekend where I'm going to marathon a bunch of supernatural horror kind of anime. Moving on from creepy, we're moving on to some lovey dovey one next. I picked up a series I love so much and I mentioned this series in my last video. It is Say I Love You. Look at this cover, it's so pretty. I really do love this cover and I actually really love how the inside looks. I don't know why. I just do. It's pretty. Mm. This anime is one of my favourite romance animes of all time. It is about a girl named Mei Tachibana who pretty much alienates herself from everyone, doesn't need friends, doesn't need anyone really. And Mr. Yamato here. I'm pointing to the right one here, Mr. Yamato. After a misunderstanding of Yamato getting kicked in the stomach, thinking that he was the one that locked up May's skirt when it was his friend, he takes a fascination into May, and something beautiful blossoms, as you think, you know, you guys can follow on from that, pretty much. This anime is really beautiful. I don't care what anyone says. They can critique this anime if they want, but to me, this anime is beautiful. And Mei is one of my favourite female characters of all time because, again, I mentioned in my last video, I saw a lot of her in myself and I saw a lot of what I experienced when I was younger. I really think as the anime goes on, these two are just, just like, oh my god, so sweet! Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, it, um, yeah, I really think Mei and Yamato in the end are really, really sweet and cute together. And it just cures any romance fix. I'm currently reading the manga at the moment, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. So I totally, definitely recommend if you're suffering some heartbreak blues or you need a romance fix, Say I Love You is your calling. The next anime I picked up with a completely random buy, of course. I do buy my anime from time to time on a Facebook group and, you know, that's kind of risky, but I got a good bargain. It was for $12 and it was to relive my childhood a bit. It was the Card Captain, the movie. I actually watched this just on the weekend, just gone. There's not really much to this movie, pretty much, you know, Sakura ends up going to Hong Kong with Madison, Tori and Julian and a adventure happens and blah blah blah. All around obviously it was just a really cute movie. It relived my card captor feels. I haven't seen this anime in so long it makes me just want to re-watch the whole entire series and go buy it. And I really need to see the second one. I believe that one's called The Sealed Card and that one's really really cute. There's some cute moments between Sakura and Sharon. Oh my god. So definitely I'm so glad I picked up this anime and I'm gonna be getting the second one at some point. Ah. We are down to the last two animes that I've got in August and September. The next one I got was purely out of interest and fascination. I knew nothing about this anime. This anime again was a complete random buy. Arjuna. I can't put the DVD right. There is the cover for you guys. This anime is, I feel, very, very unknown. Not many people know about it. This anime is about a girl named Juna. She ends up getting into an accident and, of course, dies. And her spirit is floating, floating nearly away. And she ends up coming across a other spirit, known, a boy known as Chris and he will give her her life back if she agrees to save the world or save humanity from a enemy known as the Raja. Where as far as I know the Raja is actually the forgotten debris of humanity like feelings, emotions, along the lines of that and Juna is bestowed the power to save humanity. This anime was a strange but interesting anime and the animation did kind of bug me in this anime because there is two animations going on. You got your normal anime animation and then you've got 2D animation. So there is this 2D animation kind of thing going on. 
that really kind of annoyed me and annoyed crucial parts for me in the anime. What I loved about this anime is Mufasa from The Lion King can quote for me, we are all connected in the great circle of life. The story really focuses on planet Earth and things we take for granted like, you know, the food we put in our mouth and putting pesticides on our plants, on our, on our crops. It really covers detailed things like that. And I actually learned some interesting facts from this anime I did like, insects eat the bad parts of the leaves so the leaves or the plants don't end up dying which I kind of didn't know. So this anime teaches you a lot, but the it is really beautiful. It just has this beautiful representation for me on the aspect of how we take things for granted and how, and how our planet Earth works. Of course, at some points in the anime, that theory is kind of ridiculous, but it, it's a really interesting watch, but I don't know if it's going to be anyone's cup of tea, but I will be reviewing this anime, I don't know, in a video or on my blog, I'm not sure, but I will definitely review this. It's not very long, it's 13 episodes long. It was made in 2001, so it's an early 2000 anime, so if you're looking for something really interesting and strange to watch, definitely go check out Arjuna. <sighs> And the final anime I picked up for my August and September haul. Haha, <laughs> I really don't need to say much about this anime because you just need a friggin' tissue box. It is Clonad. I don't know what made me pick up Clonad. I think it was because I saw it super ass cheap on um, a Facebook group that I follow. This is only part one. I'm about to purchase part two this week. I really feel I don't really need to explain what this anime is about, but you know what? I'm still going to. This story is about a boy named Tomio. Everything in his life is pretty much falling apart. Drunken father, disconnection with his father, and he has no friends and he gets into a lot of fights and trouble and misses school and he ends up befriending a girl named, um, Oh, cute little adorable, this is this is her, and uh, Nagisa. And he ends up befriending a whole bunch of different girls and they end up creating this drama club. And yeah, that's kind of what it's about. But this anime, as some people would know, it's quite, can be a sad anime, yet a happy sometimes. All I can say is for this series, you do need a tissue box. You probably need a hundred, I reckon. You probably won't need one much for the first series, probably for the second season you probably will, but still it is a beautiful anime, I love who it's by, Kyoto Animation, so I'm so glad I kind of picked up Sweet Clenad. Is it my fellow Kinos, that is all the anime I got during my August and September haul! Really hope you guys enjoy this video and you enjoyed the things I was able to share with you. I'm hoping in October I will be doing kind of a Halloween anime haul because I do intend to buy quite a bit of kind of your supernatural kind of horror along those lines of kind of animes because I haven't seen a lot of those kind of genres so I thought this would be a really good opportunity. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe for more craziness and become a part of the Kino family. If you want to keep up with my anime antics, you can follow me on Lita Kino Anime Reviews on my blog. And you can follow me on Twitter at Kino Reviews. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video, my pretties. <laughs>